Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, everybody. What's new? I hope that everything's fine. It is a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences. And today I'm going to share you my facts about my English journey. Because I have been learning English for two years and half of uh, one year or two, yes, and I improved a little bit my English for this time and I want to share my facts, what was useful, what was unuseful, what was interesting and how did I became lovely person of English because, because I improved my charismatic traits inside of me by doing English videos, I improved my singing skills, I improved my body like a uh, fitness, uh, fitness, uh, fitness instructor skills, I improved my dancing skills a little bit uh, because of English and also I improved my marketer, marketer, uh, marketable skills because uh, I'm a Russian marketer, I do Russian marketing and also I'm a Russian voice actor and uh, I started to do voice overing thanks for the English too and uh, English gave me a lot but I was hating it in my school really it was my the most unpleasant lesson that i don't want to go i even said some one one week was i remember it was almost uh, 14th october 2014 i had english classes in my school and i i said to mom i will not go i don't want to go to english classes and i i made myself like sleeping i was uh, play make believe game that i'm like sleeping I was uh, I, I forgot what's the name of it this word with predict pre no predict uh, prediction no prediction it is about future okay I was doing kind of I I will sleep and you will notice and I slept over my school because I don't I didn't want to go to classes of uh, English uh, lessons and uh, guys today I'm gonna share to you how to improve your foreign language if you want to improve it and uh, maybe even some facts you will know let's start from the beginning I started my English journey on 13th of January 2018 it is like my happy birthday of of my channel and I uploaded video in my dormitory I started to look at videos I in like in the start of January 2018 I started to google videos to watch I wanted to improve my English and I started to google videos and watch them watched one video second video watched one video about World Warcraft because I liked World Warcraft game and uh, I noticed uh, one interesting video about uh, like uh, about our body what's inside of our body what uh, how how it uh, what's the difference between introverts and uh, extroverts it was interesting stuff for me non-fiction stuff and uh, i started to understand hmm maybe i should uh, dive into it and maybe need to understand it but maybe it will be more useful more useful if i will do reaction on it because i understand that many of reactions that people do they are they do on funny stuff and i decided what will be it will be really interesting to do a reaction on a natural or science stuff and even in English and it will improve my English maybe or maybe not and I started to record video I was trying to record my first video like 10 times in a row like I was uh, I my first video is the best video of uh, 100 uh, first videos I want to say because I was trying to say hello everybody what's new in your life like this uh, I was speaking like how is it going guys uh, I didn't know what it, what does it mean how is it going <laughs> I'm going well. I only watched one video. The tiny chat is uh, no tiny chat. The tiny no 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 pencer. Random pencer. Random pencer is a girl. She was doing this uh, greeting, and I copied her greeting. Like hello everyone. <laughs> what uh, what are you doing? I'm doing well. I I was doing this kind of greeting for, firstly and uh, I copied it like copycat and uh, decided to use it and it is interesting time of learning it is like uh, he, she was my mommy and I was repeating after her 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 things how she pronounced it by the way to, to, okay time time because after 20 minutes this video will be ended because I recorded on the, on the camera to bring to you much more value 
And okay, it was about uh, my start, 13th of January. I started to do reaction videos, I started learning through watching videos and commenting them. After that I started to do Indonesian videos reaction. It was interesting in some way, but not. I'm, I'm not super sincere about it. I was smiling like uh, because I wanted to, to make uh, this video growing and uh, it was journey not a man who wants to learn English in the first place. It was a man who wanted to become a greater YouTuber, who wanted to great community, uh, who wanted to grow like a big audience and uh, to be friends with someone else because uh, I don't have enough friends like uh, I have uh, one, two and that's all and uh, there we don't communicate it's almost acquaintances but good acquaintances I hope you understand me well about these things and I uh, started to <laughs> upload videos uh, in the same of in a way of reactions after that I decided to do karaoke to improve my singing skills to improve my uh, to improve uh, it was funny for me to listen to music and to sing and it was really cringe. I was uh, singing in a way like I walk a lonely road or, uh, and it was more like not walking, oh, I, it was uh, in a way of a Russian accent I walk a lonely road <laughs> like this uh, a way I didn't know how to pronounce correct uh, words and karaoke helped me to improve my pronunciation in the first uh, time after that I started to watch videos of Think Media channel, it is channel to improve your YouTube channel and I started to use their words uh, that uh, this dude, uh, Sean Cannell, Sean Cannell is the name of a man and uh, he was doing kind of greetings and I started to duplicate, imitate his uh, type of speaking. It is all about learning English, about learning any stuff. If you want to be great in something, need to repeat after master. After master, after your teacher. Then you apply it in your speech. Then when you have big amount of vocabulary of active speaking, when you are familiar with all words that you used before, then you can create your own vocabulary. You can pick from all stuff that you used before and you can pick what you need. It is like a, you're a jewelry man and uh, you want to make a diamond. And diamond it is not super nice diamond right now. And uh, firstly, what should you do? It is you should uh, take your axe make a little bit of stone and then need to make the stone, big stone, like a diamond. And this big stone, it is all vocabulary that you know. And diamond, it is a specific vocabulary for specific video or for specific purpose or maybe for going to your job of your dream. Maybe you are barista and you need to learn vocabulary about barista and things. Or maybe you are, you are a singer and you should learn more vocabulary about your singing or musical journey. I hope you understand me well right now what uh, what I mean. It is like a picking specific words for specific topics. If I will talk about uh, comedy, I will use and uh, if I will do a comedy in a style of uh, maybe who Patrice O'Neill, then I will do a little bit of dirtiness in my speech, yes, like about sexual things, about uh, fingers, about uh, <laughs> twinkle caves, about uh, maybe tummy bananas, and uh, I will use this type of vocabulary. If I will speak uh, in a formal way with a president, then I will use words like senate, I will use I'm just a bill and I'm on the hill, and uh, I will <laughs> use this vocabulary for politician stuff, yes. And I hope you right now understand what I mean. And all about learning of English, it is like creating your new world. You are like a Tolkien and you want to create your Lord of the Rings book inside of your mind, but with your own vocabulary. You are creating your world when you, when you learn English and you like uh, co can collect all the knowledges around and you try to make it uh, the most believable world of Middle Earth inside of your mind. You want to make it really with, uh, with specific logic. You should uh, create sentences that will be, uh, will be logical to you. It is also useful to use bilingual languages because you can compare your own words and with, uh, with English words or maybe Spanish words. You can connect them through, through these things. Sometimes I 
I, I improved, really improved my in, uh, my Russian speaking, Russian, I'm Russian native, my, my native language is Russian, and I improved my Russian language thanks for English language, because I was uh, speaking in English and I was thinking as a synchronical, synchronical uh, as translator. I was thinking inside of my mind like a translation, but, but fast translation. And uh, some phrases I really translated my mind, and uh, it is nothing wrong about about it. It is uh, like a first uh, stage of your process. You translate firstly this words, it will be slow, 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 and after that it will be faster and faster. After maybe two months it will be even faster, because you will learn things. It is like, did you learn poetry in your school? And uh, you maybe remember right now, you learned, uh, you learned poetry in maybe your 12th years old, and you are maybe right now 33 years old, and you remember all this stuff of what you learned when you was 13 years old or 12 years old, yes? And you remember it, it is about language too, because you learned it by heart and uh, it is kind of connections inside of your mind. When we speak we don't think, yes? We don't think what to say, we know some phrases and they sounds for us like a confident and uh, they sound to us uh, we are sure what we are saying and uh, you need to think only about dots between them like connections like uh, right now i speak about my my story then i will tell about uh, i will tell about what type of content i was learning then i will talk about what channels uh, you should apply to learn a russian english language or something like this i hope you understand and uh, also word, I hope you understand, I use it too, and uh, it is uh, kind of uh, the way how we think too. Okay, next uh, thing what uh, I was doing, yes, I was doing videos about it. Next, uh, I tried to translate some Russian words to English. I was, I started to do... I started to do Russian content also, and I translated it in English. Also, I would was doing guidances of uh, fitness guidances, how to do jumping ropes. I was doing guidances how to do yoga poses, how to do things uh, in uh, dormitory, how how improve your body. And I was thinking about one thing: I want to improve my English in a way of. Uh, in a way of if I will be like fitness instructor, I started to think in a way of, in a way in a way of specific profession. If you want to be a good in a specific niche in a specific profession, then you should do these things. It is uh, do specific things for this profession. If you want to be a great writer, then you should write. If you want to be a great uh, singer, you should sing. If you want to be a great uh, like a healthcare master, you should go to to help people with healthcare, you should learn medicine books or something like this and speak about medicine if you want to improve it better. And uh, I applied this uh, mindset for for learning English. I applied like if I want to improve uh, my vocabulary in a fitness sphere, then I should speak about fitness. I should uh, do exercising as exercising and show people how to do this. If I want to improve my joking skills and uh, way how I joke in English, I should create my own jokes and I should uh, upload a content how I create jokes and or maybe I should use already known jokes of comedians. Yes, and apply them. If I want to improve my communication skills and my personal opinion things, then I should do reaction videos, because a reaction can, you can watch content and you can comment it, it will improve your commenting and your main opinion, critical thinking, opi critical thinking skills of learning English. If you want to improve, for example, speaking about books, like a reviewing of books, then you should read books and try to review these books. It is all about our life. I watched to this uh, place because I have timer. Six minutes left <laughs> till we end this video. And uh, guys, uh, you should apply this uh, knowledge to different spaces. And uh, what kind of books I recommend to use? First, it is Matilde book. A second, it is uh, Dr. Seuss book. Uh, really, thank you for Jackie who sent me Roald Dahl books. Uh, thank you a lot for Kentucky and friend and nice uh, soulmate. Thank you a lot. And uh, I 
Yeah. I was reading Dr. Seuss, The Cat in the Hat, and also I was reading <laughs> Matilda book, Roald Dahl books. It is the most easiest books uh, that you can find. Harry Potter is this a little bit harder, but I recommend to start uh, Harry Potter too. Harry Potter maybe from the second part. Second part is easier than first, in my personal opinion. Also, I don't want to recommend you reading like Stephen King. Re Stephen King, it is hard. Hard for the beginning. It will be easy to you with... Ah, by the way, if, if you want to be... Uh, if you want to improve your motivational speech vocabulary that I have a lot in, in my, inside of my soul, you should start doing motivation videos for your audience. And then you will grow your vocabulary of, motiva of motivation. If you want to improve your self-analysis, you should do more like diary. Diary and self-questioning videos. It is all about what you want to, to improve in your life. You, should, you can go to the places of this English of your own stuff that you already know in uh, in your language or you sh or you can go to the places that you are not familiar with it will be a really interesting journey like i studied it and uh, about Stephen King i don't recommend it it is a really tough hard vocabulary for new learners because uh, some books they have easy vocabulary, but they have their own unique cultural experience. The most hard things in English it is a unique cultural experience. It is when you read a book and learn about specific states, about their life, about specific slang, about names of cars, because I'm not familiar with. Sometimes I know how to, for example, uh, Arkansas. Arkansas, no, no, Ohio, Ohio, no, 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 Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia is the state of United States, you know, maybe, if you are from United States, West Virginia, country mama, take me home, yes, and uh, in the Russian language, it is uh, Zapadnaya Virginia, I don't understand sometimes fully, fully names to translate them, like Zapadne, Zapadne and West Virginia, it is uh, two different words, and sometimes some words, they are different from Russian language to English, and you guess what's the name of the city, Maine, Maine, uh, you know, states of America, Maine, in Russian language it is man, like uh, men, like people, yes, and uh, you sometimes look at this, what, what's the, what's the name of it? I was trying to read uh, Stephen King in uh, Russian too, and uh, sometimes I didn't understand what man means and uh, main when we compare with it. But after that I started to understand about main. Okay, uh, two minutes left and uh, have a wonderful uh, learning stuff. I hope that you un understand what should you do. You should start your own English channel or at least you should start your writing blog. It is two different uh, types how you can improve it without speaking even with foreigners. And I'm so thankful for people who are watching me from another countries because if, if you start your own blog, video blog, then you can... Uh, then you can connect with people around the world. Yes, first one year nobody will watch me. Will, will, uh, nobody watched me and nobody maybe will watch you when you started. Because uh, you're not really nice, you're like a child firstly and nobody googles uh, these things how how people learn languages uh, from another country. So, yes, some people like polyglots, they uh, they Google it, but it is not like a, a huge amount of people. To improve it, to make an audience, you should go forward. And I'm so, so grateful, so gr grateful for people who are watching me right now. Thank you a lot for it. We are on our journey and uh, we are continuing it. I'm going right now to marketing, marketing, uh, marketing direction of learning English and I hope that uh, everything will be fine uh, in this and uh, I will create a, a kind of entrepreneurship yes I want to do this uh, I'm I, I want to be confident in it and uh, the way how I speak on this channel it is the way how I can improve it <laughs> I don't know what I said. <laughs> okay, have a great day, have a wonderful week, and always improve so daily. Start your blog, video blog, or something that you can write or speak 
or maybe <laughs> show about or maybe draw about it. Find your way to learn English, Russian, maybe Spanish, uh, Chinese language, uh, French or something else. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of languages do you want to learn and uh, maybe I can help you if you want to learn a Russian language. I will show you like resources that you can find to learn it better and faster. Thank you again. See you next time. Bye bye. It was Igor, Russian man who brings value. Bye bye. <laughs> You're a nice guy. Or girl. Yeah.